Member for Macquarie Fields. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Acting Speaker. The constituents in my electorate are tenacious. They have withstood blow upon blow of unfair policy decisions like the disastrous train timetable, rampant overdevelopment, the lack of the lifts at Macquarie Field Station in contradiction to departmental evidence clearly stating it was higher on the priority list than other funded stations which just so happens to be located in Liberal Hill seats. But despite our needs being constantly ignored by this Liberal government, we refuse to be silent. That is why this Liberal government should take note. We will not stop fighting for the protection of the scenic hills, and we will not be silent about this government's hypocrisy. Only a few weeks back, the member for Mongoa spoke in this chamber to celebrate the fact that a cemetery proposal in Wallachia was rejected by the Independent Planning Commission. The member for Mongoa lauded the fact that the voices of her community were heard loud and clear. They didn't want the cemetery, so it was rejected. Acting Speaker, the residents in my electorate can quite rightfully think that their voices don't matter to this Liberal government. We too put up an immense fight against the Varaville proposed development. We too called for the protection of the scenic hills and we too wrote submissions and attended public meetings. We desperately tried to get two successive heritage ministers to do their job and to protect the land around Barraville homestead. Our voices fell on deaf ears while the voices of the Wallachia community were heard. But this isn't the first example of double standards. <clears throat> Last year, the Liberal government coughed up more than $27 million to buy the historic Fernhill Estate at Mulgoa for community green open space. That site had been canvassed by the Rookwood General Cemeteries Trust for a massive new Crown Cemetery. It begs the question, what about Barraville and protecting the scenic hills for future generations in my local community? Why does green space in Mulgoa deserve protection any more than green space in Barraville? Let's recap. A proposed Penrith Cemetery in a Liberal Hill seat gets halted. Meanwhile, a proposal for a 136,000 plot cemetery in the scenic hills in a Labor seat gets approved. Land touted for a cemetery in Mulgoa is bought by the Liberal government to protect green open space. Meanwhile, the scenic hills are sacrificed for the benefits of developers. This Liberal government and its processes just stinks. It is one rule for the Liberals and another rule for the rest of us. Our community has actually had enough of these dreadful double standards. Speaking of rules, if two successive heritage ministers had adhered to the rules, my community may not actually be in this mess. For nearly two years, the two heritage ministers have breached the Heritage Act. They failed to decide whether or not to accept a Heritage Council's recommendation to protect land surrounding Barraville Homestead. Such a decision could have made the scenic hills cemetery development untenable. Acting Speaker, let me be clear. The Heritage Act says a minister must decide on a heritage listing within 14 days of receiving a recommendation from the Heritage Council. That recommendation was made on the 28th of September 2017. The 14 days prescribed in the legislation has well and truly passed. If the heritage listing had been approved by either minister, the cemetery development application would have been subject to more intensive scrutiny under the Heritage Act. Instead, we had two ministers sat on their hands and now the overdevelopment floodgates have been opened in the scenic hills. My good friend, the, mem the federal member for MacArthur, recently spoke in the federal parliament of this appalling decision to approve the cemetery. He rightfully called out this Liberal government for taking its orders from property developers and vested interests. I applaud my federal colleague for sticking up for our local community and condemning the cemetery's proposal approval. Acting Speaker, I vehemently reject the argument that the cemetery is in the public interest. The only interest the cemetery will serve is the Catholic Metropolitan Cemeteries Trust, aided and abetted by a developer-driven Liberal government, masquerading this appalling decision as crematoria policy. In reality, the green light for this controversial cemetery is another example of the Liberal government putting developers' needs first. Local residents expected this government to protect the scenic hills that has a major heritage significance and provides valuable open space for our growing community. Instead, 
This disastrous decision approved the symmetry will set in motion a devastating domino effect of new development applications. The insidious incremental, incremental nature of this development will forever destroy the scenic hills, and we have this Liberal government's hypocrisy to thank for the destruction of our scenic hills. Call the member for